supposed to symbolize guides, spirits, teachers of the past. And the wonderful thing about these drawings is that they're so neutral. You can go either way, whatever you want to bring forth with them. These were all done just in one draft. Totally amazing for any uh, project that I put through. This is the fastest it got completed. But it's just awesome how, how much emotion it does bring up for people. This one I find interesting that uh, when the volunteers installed it, this one is like a little praying figure in my mind. And it's interesting they put it in a Joshua tree that looks just like a uh, prayer stick, which is a means of bringing energy down and sending prayers forth. So this one sort of bursts up. I love that. <laughs> Again, the interesting thing that they said was, without instruction, some of the pieces look like uh, animal shapes or just some sort of a form. And this, this is because, again, if you're in other times or in other realms, sometimes you won't have the same body or you'll see yourself with your power animal and bringing that energy up. So some of them have that kind of feeling to it. Uh, the one before was like a lizard. This one could be a person sitting there like this or it could also, you can see wings on it or a tail. So it can go any way with you. It's just, just have to open up and it'll attach to it. One of the things I like about Lynn's work is the art. As an artist, I think, you know, it's like, it doesn't follow a doctrine that tells you, it just gives you a blank canvas. It says you don't have to draw a circle, you don't have to draw a triangle, you just have to draw your own self and have that come out. And I love that because with this work, you can get so locked in to trying to do something right that you never really find your own rightness, your own righteousness about feeling that connection. Because you're trying to connect with something somebody else has done. Every adventure into spirit is a one-to-one -one connection. And that oddly, in the truth of it, that one-to-one -one connection unifies us. It's a wonderful thing. Okay, with this one, this is the one with a very special story. There was uh, one of the volunteers who set this in, and I'm trying to remember her name, I can't right now, but the person who set this in looked at it like, again, someone dancing, a wonderful experience. Another person came by just after she got done setting it in and blessing it, doing her little ceremony. The person looked at it and saw the hands overhead and thought they were cowering. And it touched something inside and she had this like opening experience and started to cry and go through some really deep stuff, some major shifts in herself. The volunteer who put this together turned out to be a specialist in exactly what this woman was going through. This is again the story of synchronicity that evolves from these events. When we raise our consciousness or we try to see spirit, you find out just how much more in our lives the spirit is working.